Hello everyone, today I'm going to review the new Surrey Nightwalker lenses, the 16mm T1.2 and the 75mm T1.2, the new additions to the Nightwalker set on my Fujifilm X-T5. This is going to be an in-depth review, you're going to see fires, people dancing, detailed 6K footage of sci-fi buildings and much more. If you're new to the channel, my name is Andre Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker, so for more video reviews, subscribe. Let's start with build quality, just like the previous lenses, they are very well built, made from metal and glass and just a bit of plastic in the front. These are completely manual lenses, the mount is metal, but they don't have any electronic contacts. The overall design is nice and simple on the black ones, but you can also get them in silver with orange markings if you like that more. The markings on these lenses are engraved including the ones on the blue metal part. Also, these lenses are not weather sealed. I don't think any lens in this price range is weather sealed when it comes to cine lenses. The filter size is 67mm, just like on all Nightwalker lenses, so you won't have to use different filter sizes. I think this is a must on any cinema set. Also, these lenses have the same size and almost the same weight, so you can change them with ease on a gimbal without needing to rebalance it. The weight difference is so small any modern gimbal can handle it. Now, there is a small thing that changed and a thing I was not a fan of on the first three lenses and that is how loose the rings were. They were great to use with a follow focus system, but too loose to use handheld because you could easily move them out of place. Not a big deal if you're careful. On the new lenses, the rings are better damped and smoother, making handheld video work better and stress-free. Also, from my testing, it seems the measurements are accurate on the rings. Lens caps are still not great, they take a while to put on. Sometimes they fit perfectly, sometimes it takes too much. I want my caps to go on fast and don't think about them. These lenses are very important to Fujifilm cameras. Let me tell you why. Because there are not many super bright cine lenses available for Fujifilm cameras and these T1.2 lenses are great for low light footage and subject separation on APS-C, enabling you to get noiseless footage on bad lightning conditions. On full frame, these lenses would be 24mm f2 and 112.5mm f2. Now let's talk about image quality and the first improvement I saw in this regard is less chromatic aberrations and locker than previous Nightwalker lenses, wide open. You can see some color fringing at T1.2 but it is very well controlled in my opinion. I was expecting a lot worse on the 75T1.2. And regarding testing flares, because I saw different results in different videos, I cleaned the lenses before doing these tests. If you don't, you are going to get worse results, including less contrast. I like flares in my videos, but not crazy over the top flares, so these are, in my opinion, nice. Some people may dislike them, some will love them. That is how lens characteristics work. Some people like clinical lenses, some softer and dreamier lenses. That is why I try to provide more footage in my reviews, so people can decide for themselves when it comes to characteristics. Now let's talk about the sharpness, contrast and color of these lenses and I will start with the 16mm. As you can see here, there is plenty of details and contrast in the middle of the frame, wide open. I think better than all other previously released Nightwalker lenses, but it still has a slight dreamy look that I like. This is my opinion, tell me yours in the comments below. I also shot some 6K and 4K HQ footage with my Fujifilm X-T5 and the results are impressive, great image quality without being clinically sharp. The corners wide open are softer and dark from vignetting, stopping down to T2 makes the whole image better. From here the center is outstanding in terms of contrast and details. The more you stop down, the more the corners will improve. 
The focus breathing on the 16mm is very well controlled. You have just a bit of focus breathing, barely noticeable. Not the same can be said about the 75mm. It has visible focus breathing as you can see here. But luckily for this lens, it has, just like the 16mm, very good image quality starting from T1.2. I might say even slightly better than the 16mm in the center of the frame at T1.2. And if you stop down to T1.4, it is very good. I also made a test later for the skeptical out there, something that I said I won't do, but it is going to make a lot of people happy. Corners are softer and the vignetting is better than on the 16mm. There is some vignetting, but not as bad. Stopping down to T2 makes the already great image even better. Stopping down further mostly improves the corners and slightly the center that at f5.6 looks impressive in 6K. Now let's look at minimum focus distance. On the 16mm that is 30cm and on the 75mm it is 70 Decent enough in my opinion, but this may not satisfy everyone. Both lenses are a bit soft at T1.2 as you can see here and both lenses have very good image quality when stopped down to T2. Overall, these are great additions to the Nightwalker set. They have impressive image quality starting from T1.2. Yes, the 16mm has some vignetting at T1.2, but the rest of the frame looks good for such a bright aperture lens. Ah, almost forgot the test I was talking about earlier. I took some photos with these lenses at T1.2 to show you how good the center of the frame really is. I took these photos with the X-T5, a 40 megapixel camera. An APS-C 40 megapixel camera will make almost any lens blush wide open because of pixel pitch and diffraction. But looking at these photos here proves these lenses are good. I know this is not how you test cine lenses, but some of you may want to see this. So let's continue with the conclusion, good image quality, better chromatic aberrations control, great build quality except for the lens cap, that is bad, so in my opinion these lenses should satisfy most users that are looking for bright cine lenses, so I highly recommend them. If this video was helpful please subscribe, like, ring the bell to get notified when I release new videos and if you want to support the channel even more use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.